Hello and welcome to the Burning Metal Weekly Roundup. This is the third weekly roundup for July 2024. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, I'm joined yet again this week by Adrian Williams of Metal Messiah Radio Conjuring, some of the Hellfire Club screams from the Metal Crypt. You were down in Cork last night for a few bands. You had a good night you had? Ah, yeah. Fucking deadly night, man. Deadly. Who was playing again? There was a bunch of bands playing. There was um, Terror Syndrome. Yeah. Fucking, fucking amazing, man. Just a different fucking entity live. Just that perfect. He was. Go ahead. Fucking ice cream fan. <laughs> Wanker. And Deserted were playing and uh, Z Ren, Aura, and. Um, Sham. Sham, Sham are fucking man. deadly, man. They only released a new fucking album recently. Oh, we've completely missed that. Yeah, it's on Spotify. That's why oh, I was noticed to have it on Spotify. And it's fucking deadly. Oh, I, m- I must include that next week, so. Yeah. Because they supported Aura in Dublin, didn't they? On their album launch. No, no. Or did they not? No, that was um, Nomadis and Barfys. Barfys. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm getting, mixed, getting mixed up, so. Yeah. And of course, we, because we, I was hanging, I was like a fucking, I was like someone, I was sick of a small hospital last week when we were doing this, because after the session, I had the night before, and we forgot to mention that you were at Strangers with Guns last weekend, and you, of course you've seen Two Tales of War as well. How does the Strangers with Guns gig go? Oh, it was good crack, it was. I had great crack at that. Anyway, there was yeah. a decent enough crowd on it as well. Yeah, Jeff put up a post. He was a bit bittersweet about it, wasn't he? Yeah, I saw that, man. Hicken Master. Bastards. Oh, bricks. What's your look at? They got to play the Academy, too. They got yeah. to play the Academy. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, of course, two tails of all were good, as, as always, I assume. Oh, yeah. Deadly. And of course, we were recording. We we're recording a late, late last week, and we we're recording an evening early this week because I've got to go into hospital again tomorrow. I've got another procedure on Monday, so oh, I'm getting very bored of it now, man. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. More fucking tests and fucking whatnot. It's because it's been going on so long, man. This started in January, and it's going to be going on until at least at the end of August now before I get a result of my anything. Yes. Christ. Like, I could potentially have cancer right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, I it's know not, it's not something yeah. I'm thinking about, but it's a, it's a shadow, like. Yeah, yeah, I know. The I shadow know. that wears you down, like, at times it really wears you down, like, you're wondering, like, when am I going to fucking f- find out what the fuck is going on here? Hmm. But we won't start on such a dreary note. I told the story here before, a while ago now, for context, I've put the picture back up again. So I built a big barricade down beside my house where people there was like 30 people a day coming down up and down our street and i'll just show it again for old times sake there's the barricade that i built now it's down below so it's it's a metal barricade and during the week would you believe the fuckers they damaged it again and they found a way to get past it and they made a bra- wow. they made a way, a way through again and i seen it and i was tickets i was a bit thick at first i was like for fuck's sake like you know like, at what point are you going to fuck off? Like, you know, we've made it quite clear. We don't want anyone coming down here. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you are. We do not want all the neighbors would agree with me. We don't want people coming up and down here. So I said, Grant, you won't see it too well there now. Can you sort of see, you can sort of see the wires and stuff, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, well, anyways, yeah. I, got, I got two two by fours. I got an old mop handle that I had left in the shed. And an XLR to Jack Lee, the good long one that I had in the shed as well, that's been there for years. And I screwed, I put all screwed all and used uh, fencing nails, you know, the ones, the double, the double ones, the fencing nails. Yeah. And I got the big long XLR to Jack Lee, and there's a tree next to it. And I, I fucking cable tied the tree, the, the, the wood and the, to the trees. And I wrapped the fucking the XLR around it fucking at least three times and nailed it all down into it. And I know someone was at since because it moved it ever so slightly, but they obviously came down and they've realized that, wait, you've, I've just made it completely impassable now. When it's cable tied to fucking trees, wood, ex- like that XLR like, is like fucking solid, as you know, like, like that's mm. hard plastic with metal on the inside. You won't cut through that. And I have it all cable tied as well, too, so everything is even more effective. And I was like, you bastards. But I win again. <laughs> No matter how many times you try and knock that fucking barricade, I will make it harder and harder. And I'm going to reinforce it more now in the next few days, just just for the crack. Like, just so they know that this is, there's no, there's no win on this one. I'm going to keep stopping you. 
Like, it's just annoying. Like, like if we've put a barricade up, like, that means fuck off, like. But. Yeah, I know, I know. But do you know the beautiful thing about it was, actually, I seen four of them coming down here yesterday and I was pissing around, thinking, <laughs> oh, I'll take the shortcut. And then I had to go back up the street again. I was really waving at them. Oh, bye now. Enjoy the rain, you <laughs> fucking wankers. You know, I'd, like, we don't want, we just don't want people coming up and down here all day. You know, that's fair. Like, it's a cul de sac mm. estate. Like, yeah. So, I was, we shall kick on with our roundup. We've ate on the roundup this week. Oh, the old Walter from uh, the, Breaking Bads. No, no. Grand Torino lives inside me. Oh, yeah. Get off my lawn. <laughs> oh, you fuckers. I, 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 I won't let you win. Oh, it's fun to me now at this point, you know. As soon as I think they've got a way of passing it again, I will just completely up, up, up the game another level. Ah, I'm, I'm old and ignorant and stubborn. And we shall start with from ruins until we're gone, you know. Yeah, until they're gone. Yeah, you're gone now, you bastards. You can't come down here anymore. Here we go. <laughs> Sounding good again from the lads, isn't it? Dave's Dave's really stepped it up with that. I that their previous EP made my top ten last year, and I, I yeah. honestly think it's going to be another one this year. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't be surprised. Like it'll be higher this year, I think. Yeah, that yeah. sounded massive. I know, I know. Jesus, man, there's a steep. These lads are they're not fucking around, are they? No, they were previously in a band many many years ago, and they've, they've just come back and. Yeah, like, uh, Neil was out of it for years. I think he was out of it for ten years, wasn't he? I think he said about before. ten. Yeah, it was psych- psychotic. That was the name of them. I, 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 that yeah. was the name of them. Yeah, they, the police yeah. And Jesus, even I remember I was I, I don't know it was last last sometime last year when he told me that. So is it it's probably longer now? But Jesus, uh, the EP of course is June September. September. Yeah, that's right. Something this... something poisons in the title anyway. A poison, poison in your mind. I think it is. poison in your mind, something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, I've just, I've only seen it briefly. Like I've seen it, yeah. seen it today. All oh, right. Because I was, I was busy yesterday. I was yeah. a few friends called around yesterday. Even we we're just here till around whatever time. And I just, I didn't check anything yesterday. So I'm kind of playing catch up today now. Yeah. So it kind of held me back a bit because we've had a lot of releases in the last two days. I know. I was kind of shocked. Like. I have two covered, and I think I've two. I've two. I'm two checked out. Should I say? And I think I've two left to check out. And there was one from earlier in the week that I was covering that I haven't got around to checking out yet. But I, I will. It was just just one of those weeks when I was mm. just busy getting stuff done. And that yeah. was from Runes until we're gone from their forthcoming EP, which is due on the sixth of September. I just I can remember so many details, but I just can't remember names. <laughs> Shit, what names? Uh, next on our list, we have Idle Discourse, who released their new album, <clears throat> Volume 2. And they released, uh, coincide with it, they released a single video called Kavash. Have you said it? I, hmm? no, I don't know. I didn't see it. Caveat, maybe. Caveat. Caveat. 
It's a spelled C A V E A T. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah it's caveat. Caveat, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wish I played a man of that now. That was the first song they ever played live. Yeah. Fucking they put hell. it up in the post and that was the first song they ever played live, which is unusual because they have two albums out. Yeah. Holy shit. So the first song they ever played live was on their second album. <laughs> strange way of doing it. Yeah, I, I know. I know, yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, it was just, it just didn't suit at the time, but have you listened to that album yet? No, no. Checked it out today. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Yeah, I'll check it out later. I will anyway. Definitely. It'll definitely make it into my list at the end of the year. I don't know if it'll make it into the top 10. Yeah. But every year I do a top 20. Yeah. And it's definitely going to be in it. I don't know if it's going to make the top 10 yet because it's too early in the year to tell. It's still got, it's got five months to go yet. Hmm. But it's definitely going to be in somewhere. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Totally different from everyone else. Oh, you know, yeah, no, there's nobody else that sounds like them. I know, no one. If these boys have created their own genre, yeah, there might be bands in other countries that sound similar, but they they wouldn't have the Dublin accent. So by default, they sound different. Mm. Of course, you've seen them live, you lucky bastard. I know, yeah, fucking not the last seats, the one before, and they were the basically big surprise for me, like. Well, they, they were open and banned on the warehouse, weren't they? They were on the upstairs stage. Oh, they're upstairs. They're upstairs. Yeah. Basically, I remember yeah, I, was, I was at that scene, but we just didn't make it in time. Yeah. I went up and said, holy shit, this is fucking crazy. Well, from the live footage you see of them now, and especially in this video, they look like they're, they're a really, really good live outfit. Yeah. And they're kicking on big time, so they're, they're, they're getting know, big numbers. You know. like. Yeah. I'll fair play to them, you know. There's no mention of a physical release on the album, but no. After my, a, I know it's kind of gone. That is now. There's People no point just... anymore. Yeah. I at the end of the year now, because the album I release on CD is going to be in my end of year list, <laughs> and I'm going to wait and see. Now I'll have the box of CDs ready to show in December, <laughs> and it's not going to be nice. <laughs> I'm going to have the biggest collection of fucking expensive beer mats you've ever seen in your life. Oh, Not that I'd ever use them as a beer mat, but yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, man, I'm, physical media isn't dead. Still people out there that buy it. But generally speaking, it's fucked. Yeah. You're yeah. as well off not bother anymore. It's, it's just a fucking expense. Especially if you're just a fucking band start now. It's too fucking hard. You need an older fan base. Yeah. And these would not have an older fan base. No. Because the older metal fans would be just looked down on that. Not all of them now. Not all yeah. of them. The ones we generalize them, but them. they'd want Tent on Slug or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but look at they're kicking on their own way. They're a young band. They figured it out. Mm. And that was Idle Discourse Caveat from their album Volume 2. <clears throat> Should check it out. It's very, very good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, next on our list, we have Following the Signs, who made their return with their new single video, Burt Wright. Was that last year or the year before that we covered? Last year. Was it last year? Conflictions. Was that last year, was it? 
Yeah, that fucking phenomenal album. Oh, that. I know. I just wasn't sure. Was it last year or the year before? Was that last, last year. Yeah. Oh, they're kicking on so. This is following the signs, Burt Reich. come back from the lads I fucking know fucking what a fucking tune it's a cracker all right and it's a oh, cool yeah. video like yeah no it's, you know, I was going to say that the girl the girl's name is um, Sarah Mackey she's fucking done a great job on it where That's is that it's cool though the location what I I don't know I was meant to ask that. I was meant to ask that actually no I assume it's off the coast of Cork or somewhere it's probably somewhere in Cork it looks like it's fucking kind of maybe Kinsale or somewhere like that. It's definitely off the coast, anyway. Yeah. Like, it's just a really, really cool location. Like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's a bit like Grey Stag's video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is a <laughs> fucking <laughs> ironic because one of the boys in the t-shirt, one of the boys in the video, is wearing a Grey Stag t-shirt. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, Grey Stag done it on the Gre- on the Wicklow Mountains. You're doing it on a more sort of near a cliff yeah. on the fucking, not quite on a cliff now. You know, they're not, they're not being that reckless about it, but it's a similar sort of thing. Like, yeah. Oh, they've uh, they're they're working with overdrive and stuff like you know they're they're yeah I know. They're, they're 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 setting their sights further I feel like yeah I, the fucking that that fucking album last year like compared to the previous release ah oh, Jesus man fuck me two like, different, different bands. bands yeah exactly oh that album that album last year was desperately unlucky not to make yeah, it my it top ten same, same with me basically because last I, year was insane for albums I know. It was just one of those years where, like, so many, so much, so many great albums just missed out because it was just, just one of those years. Like, I know, I know. This year is solid. Don't get me wrong, but last year year was a beast of a year. Yeah. Like I remember, even at the by the time Richie the Metal Cell was terrified of the EP list in particular. I know, I know. That's ridiculous. The quality last year. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's good. It's very. Don't get me wrong. This year is very very good as well. But just last year was just a step above. Like, yeah, every all the heavy hitters came out last year. It's true. Yeah, <clears throat> to following the signs misfortune when it came to our end of the year list. I know, but what can you do? Ah, uh, if they don't, well, do anything. Do you know if anything in the works? I don't know. I I don't know. Might be just a standalone single for now, just to keep the name out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we'll keep an eye on them anyway, as we always yeah. do. And that was following the signs, Burt Reich. Uh, next on our list, funny, I should mention, last year, won the year of the albums, is, the next on our list is Primordial, who released a new video single, Nothing Under the New Sun, from their amazing album, as it, how, how It Ends, should I say. Play a minute of that now. Get ready for more of this. I'll add... Oh, it's mad for that House of the Dragon. One wiener next to another wiener. <laughs> Remember the South Park song? One wiener, nice and soft, not a wrecked wiener. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
can we say more can we say about that album well, well, yeah good. exactly one of the probably best fucking bands come out of this country oh primordial legendary like oh yeah just fucking near every man uh, there's fucking you know bands are around 30 years all their albums are just fucking they're all fucking great albums <clears throat> like I was a bit later than most getting into them but when I yeah. discovered them and well I'd heard of them but I discovered them at Wacken or Wacken or whatever you want to call it I was in 2007 or 2008 yeah. or was it 2009 it was around that time of year anyway they were playing anyway and they were on like fucking 11 o'clock in the morning or something yeah and jeez man they were good yeah they always are live you know that was my introduction to them, so I was I was later than luck getting into them, but I yeah. started following them after that, and ah, oh, just a really really good band, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, and very on guys. I say consistent, like they're they're playing touring, they're playing whacking again yeah. this year. Not surprised at all, you know. But they're internationally famous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like primordial, like in, in Ireland, they'll do well. Well, they'll do well. They'll, they'll play well. They'll play a venue, they'll do well. But if you put them out in Germany or somewhere, they're massive. Like, oh, you're huge man! Like it's mad that an Irish band is bigger in Germany than it is in Ireland. They'll be big. They'll be huge in Sweden and Scandinavia as well, too. I imagine. Yeah, yeah. So we're lucky they got internationally famous. That's how you make money at this crack. Exactly. Yeah. You need to be international, and they are, and they're more. Fucking hell, man, like they deserve it. They've worked their arses off to get to where they are today. Definitely, yeah. Alan is driven, like. Yeah. Ah, fair play to them. That was primordial, nothing under the new sun. And next on our list, we have Lord of Unholy Dominion, who released their new EP, Liar, Sinner, Deceiver. Deadly. Uh, and I'm just, I, I'm going to play the EP because... The Liar Sinner yeah, yeah. track itself is a very, very long intro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to play this and just, just give an idea. I was, this is actually the one that I, that I mentioned earlier that I haven't got around to checking. I haven't got around to checking out yet. Oh, you I know, I know, I know, I know. I will, I will. I just have not had the chance yet. So I'll play a bit of yeah. it now. Oh, here you've listened to it. I haven't. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Really fucking good, man. It de- def definitely been years end. Definitely, it's gonna make your EPs. Definitely, the year, you reckon, definitely, yeah. man. Fucking really fuck. That for that first day, that was just a taster. To this, which basically. we covered them before. All right, yeah. This is sound. Yeah. This sound. I can't remember, but this sounds more of a step up. Like a step up to me. Yeah. Oh, it's so fucking good. That is. I kind of get an old immortal vibe off it. Yeah, there's um I don't know if you know the band um Keep Up Collection. No, I don't know them. No, you, but you're you're always way more of a big black metal yeah, fan than me anyway. Yeah, they, they have that kind of melodic, slightly melodic element to them. It still kind of has that second wave sound as well. Yeah, when it comes to black metal, I yeah. I know I'm I know black metal, but you're you're another yeah. level when it comes to black metal than me. <laughs> no. You're like fucking, and that was, the name of that track was Flesh of the Gods. Lord, 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 Lord of an Holy Dominion, Liar, Sinner, Deceiver. If you're into black metal, you recommend it, Adrian. Definitely. So. definitely. So, so, 
don't sleep on this, folks. Ah, they're, 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 the, the, the thing that the problem with with them is they come out, they release something, and then they just disappear again. I know, yeah, I I I think I think the fucking um, I think they might be all in other, other bands. I know, but they should really you know. keep out the word a bit more, like. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, just like I'm not saying to be like fucking spamming people or anything, but every now and again, just throw up a bit of a reminder yeah. so that people know, like, just say, "Oh, if you haven't checked out our EP that were released whatever three months ago, no. like, check it out." Like you know, mm. no, like not 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 not. not that's again, not say to spam people, but just the way the way social media has gone now. If you if you just go off and and come back on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like we'll we'll find them, but I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's because we know how to use social media. We just use page feeds. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't think I've seen a friend post on social media. Generally speaking, in ages. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just go into the page feed. Yeah. <laughs> that way, then I can just keep on top of things, you know, and write them down and just get out my day, like rather than having to fucking wade through shite, like. But to some people, like on my list, I'm not going to name names or anything. But they're they're always posting. You're like, what, what, what does this, what, what does this give you? Like, what, what? And I wouldn't mind if they were getting interactions, but they're not. Fucking doom scrolling. Most of them are just fucking tumbleweeds. Like you're just like, huh? can you not keep a thought in your fucking head for like, writing on fucking I social know, media? I know. Fuck's sake, like. <laughs> Sure, we won't solve that tonight. No, <laughs> won't solve fucking full stop. Only got to go. It's probably going to get worse too. I reckon. And next on our list, we have Cold Soviets, who dropped another video this week from their album Memories of Year Zero. Ha ha! Got us. Got us. <laughs> and man, I've been trying. I've been working on me. I'm working on me memory lately, man. I'm, I was getting worried recently. I really was. Yeah. Part, like um, then of course the, the back of my brain is thinking is there, am I sick because I'm going through treatment and my memory's suffering as a result which is which is which is very very common yeah I I know so I got a, I'm getting a, I was getting a bit freaked out the last few weeks so I kept fucking forgetting shit and I'm like doing brain training and stuff like fucking you know just I'm rambling here's cold Soviets a decade of devil's rosary That's that's not on the album. That's on that that was actually released about um a year or more. Oh really? He just put it to video. He just done a video. Yeah, he said he was always wanted to do a video for it. Oh bollocks. <laughs> Shit. Whoops. Oh, don't worry. I was thinking it didn't sound familiar, actually. I was thinking that it didn't remind I was thinking yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So I've listened to that album a bunch of times. It's an older song, it is. Oh, fuck. And it's really good. I played that on the segment before when I first discovered them. When I first discovered yeah. all Soviets, basically. And it's fucking really good song. 
Yeah, I, that, that 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 makes sense to me now because when I was listening yeah. to a back, I, I didn't check it out the video when it came out during the week because I I just assumed oh it's just another vi- single off the album video off the album. I know. So yeah. I'm just after putting it on there. Oh, so that's an older song. All oh, mm. right. Well, I'll have yeah. to check that out. So. Yeah. And the more I think about it, that that album is getting closer and closer to my <laughs> ten. I know. I I. I I mentioned it to fucking Richie last night, and he didn't know about it either. But uh, it, you, 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 album they're, is, they're underground, man. They are these lads are proper underground. Yeah, that it's fucking really fucking solid. Well, he dig he dig the fuck out of it actually. Which he Richie would dig. Yeah, the fuck uh, well, out that's that why album. I said that's why I said it to him. If there was anyone out there that you could tell to check out a band, yeah, to check out this band. Should I say he's the man? Yeah, because he is. He'll like, he'd be watching fucking. Death metal one night, next thing he'd be watching <laughs> I know, metal I know. covers the yeah. next night. <laughs> Going to all sorts of stuff, man. He is a I thought he he is well he's he's got his wide taste in music with me. Yeah. Cause I've seen all over the years Eric Clapton, Fleetwood, Mac. I've even seen Pink over the years. <laughs> and God knows what else. Fucking orbital <laughs> the chemical oh, brothers. No. All all sorts of shit, man. All over the place. So I'll definitely have to go back to that. So that was an that was an older track, yeah. That's an old, yeah. yeah you think? Um, I'm not sure. It says 2024 on the video. Oh yeah, well yeah, because he only put it to video a few days ago. Oh, but he, did he remix it a bit? I I think he might have. He obviously time. remixed it because it wouldn't be 2024. Yeah. Is this a solo project? Is it? I think so. Oh right! Oh, the I never asked. I never asked now. I never asked, but I think it. I think it is. Oh, potentially, potentially. Really cool. Anyway, I'm really, I'm really yeah. digging the yeah. project. Fucking really cool, it is. And we have three left. I'm going to have to pause it after this because I'm only after remembering now. Bollocks! I've missed one. All right. And the person watches the podcast, so I'd be the worst in the world if I didn't include it. <laughs> so anyways, for now, we're going to play a bit of Taxidermy by Bruiser, live at the pres- I assume that's pres- that's Presentation Art Centre, yeah? It's Presentation Art Centre, yeah. Oh, and we're going to have to skip this on. Kick off your summer with large screen TVs and Curry's, chop it! I'll kick off your summer with large screen TVs. But why would you buy kick off your summer with large screen TVs? How would that make sense? Summer's yeah, the time you're outside and getting away. Why would you buy a TV like? <laughs> I'm going to buy a big TV and sit inside all summer. What <laughs> fucking genius marketing is that like? <laughs> uh, around here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> So I don't know how well it will come across in here, so we'll just play that much of it. But now they're sounding cool, like yeah, fucking Alison Chains, fucking vibe, big time. Oh, big old school you know, feel to them. Yeah, the the kind of gravelly vocals. Oh like yeah, Lane, man, love it. So if you're if you're a grunge band, you're influenced by all them boys, like yeah. But um, yeah, that that's really fucking good. That live. You've seen them, haven't you? No, I've not seen them live. I've not. I'd love. I would. I'd love to see. You were. Them you were supposed to, weren't you? Um, they supported Crossfire at the present day. They were playing with Crossfire. Yeah, I knew that. You were. I you didn't, were not really I to didn't go down to it. I didn't. Yeah, I think you were supposed to, weren't you? I was go. I was thinking about going. Yeah, I remember you were. I saying you were thinking about doing it. Right, I was but... it fucking drained. I was. 
Basically. Oh, you went to a gig in Dublin in the end. I time. went to a gig in Febbers in the end. That's right, basically. that's right. You did, you did. Yeah. Yeah. You were at something the night before as well, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you were at the Aura Lab the night like before. No, 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 no. You were with the Aura Lads the night before, it. though, weren't you? I was at it, yeah. <laughs> man, as, mad, as bad as my memory is. I can't is, remember, life. man. I can't remember now. That's, it's, that's, all, it's become a blur for me at this I know, point. you lucky like, bastard. Like, you've been, been you've had too many to gigs. Like, too. I've been going to so fucking many lately. I had to put on a fucking gig to actually see a band. What? I had to put on a gig in September to actually see a few fucking bands. <laughs> I haven't seen no bands yet this year. What? Oh, fuck. Man, the last thing I was at was at Siege of Limerick last year. Jesus. Try, I'm living in a Riscommon and I'm a care. Like, it's, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. It's not possible. And it's too bloody expensive as well, too. I know, I know. Fucking. If I stay over in Dublin, it cost me fucking a few hundred euro. Like. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Oh, and I was going to have to pause this for a second because I have to get this one in. And we're back, we're bad. He's not black and I'm mad. There's a nice Lethal Weapon 80s reference there because we're next time at our list is very 80s influenced. It's P Mad Electric. We covered this a co- up recently, but he's dropped an official video for it. So it's a release in the week that, that yeah. and by our rules, we put them in. So this is PMAD Electric. I really, you've told me, I've said to me, I, I've only yeah. listened to it once. I need to go back and listen to the album again. Yeah, it's fucking really good. I now I know I've probably said it before. I've been listening to it a lot lately, again. Like, now uh, the thing is, man, when we're covering the Irish scene, like, we like some weeks it's really quiet. And then I was, this week I was thinking, right, this week will be quiet. I've only got, we've only got four. Next thing, bang. About four, yeah. So it's come out in the end. I'm like, oh, no, balls. Yeah. I was just trying to find the time. Like, and then, and you know, the, the problem with me is I, I I see things during the day and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll write it down. I'll check that out. And then I never do. But, yeah. That kind of happened to me. I saw a load of things that said it while I was on my way down to Cork yesterday. Yeah. And I just said, oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I fucked it. Like, I'm just getting away. stuff done around the house during the day, and I don't know. And even I just, you just want to fucking relax. Dude. Not really relax. I know. I'm wondering the magazine thing is, is happening. Like, yeah. So I've been working away behind the scenes on that. You know, just getting things in order, and I found another writer. Oh, nice one. Fucking you know nice. who the person is, but I won't say who it is. Yeah. because I'll yeah. tell you off camera, but. Yeah, that was big for me because you know there was th- this this magazine will happen, but Jesus Christ, I underestimated it. The the amount of fucking work in it, not the amount of work in it. The fact that everyone came forward and said they were going to do things, and then they all turned their back on. All oh, right, yeah. They've yeah. all gone. They've all ghosted me. Mm. Not that I'm messaging them or anything, but they're not. They're not coming to me saying I've got this or I've got that yeah I was thinking we're gonna have a good team on this and it's not working out that way yeah and it's it's, to be honest with you man the last few weeks I've been useless to be honest with you 
because of this whole fucking medical thing. That's yeah, yeah. About. It's hanging over me too fucking yeah, long, man. I know. I know it. I know it. Bro, it's too it's long. Fun. It's hanging over me. Yeah. You know yourself, man. Back when you were ill, I remember yeah. you were not the Irish metal maniac. You were just the fucking maniac. I, yeah, yeah. I was just a fucking, yeah. You weren't, you weren't promoting music at all. You were just, you were more worried about shite, like. Yeah, yeah. Because your yeah. brain is shite and you're, you're stuck in shite. You don't know how to get out of the shite. So you wallow in the shite and you stay in the shite and you assume the shite is the best shite as you can ever be. <laughs> this shite is great. I'll stay in the shite forever. And I had a bit of a mental breakdown on Wednesday. Mad one. Fucking nuts. Went crazy. Woke up Thursday and I was just like, well, that's probably, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> you know, the, the, the yeah. volcano erupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and while the volcano was erupting, I started sending out loads of messages. The magma went everywhere. <laughs> but it, went, this, it was a good volcano, this one, though. Yeah. No one was harmed. Might be a bit of a old fucking bit of old fucking fire damage on the roof there above me, but other than that, it sounds, you know. <laughs> Just, ah, we'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah. It's been a... I'm, I'm going to use it. I'm going to, I'm going to say it. This has been a cunt of a year for so many people. Anyone yeah. I talk to outside you, because you're too busy having a good time, you bastard. <laughs> they're all saying this, this year. Well, seems jinx. I, tr- I tried to. <laughs> I tried, no, like, I've been, like a lot of people say to me that they feel this year is jinxed. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just weird. There's weirdness in the air. Like, yeah. It was one night is. last week. The Wednesday night I had the fucking eruption. My sister was talking to my sister the next day. She said she woke up at 2 a.m. and couldn't get back to sleep. Two people she worked with done the same thing. My mother and my, her other half we were, we were downstairs because he calls in during the week. Both had nightmares all night. Jesus. It's, just, it's just a weird thing, man, what's going on this year. I just think the world is I don't know what's going on the whole thing has gone fucking nuts around us just I don't know I I don't know that probably makes no sense but sure yeah maybe somebody will be watching and say oh Jesus you know that, that's you're that's the same with me yeah and if it is you you poor bastard <laughs> 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 Anyways, we've reached the end of the last roundup of the evening. Uh, Skellig dropped today Resonance of Our Domain, Dolmain, should I say? Have you, you haven't Dolman, checked this yeah. out, have you? Re- Resonance of Our Dolmen. Dolmen, sorry, should I say, yeah. yeah. Have you checked this out? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you've checked it out today, you have? Um, I, I heard it during the week. Oh, you got it in advance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard it. It's fucking amazing fucking release. Yeah, I really should start adding people on social media and just because I use the page feed anyway, and I won't see them anyway, so they can send me on stuff. Because I've I've blocked messages on the Burning Metal Facebook page, and I don't go on Instagram, so there's no point in contact contacting me there. So, which of the which one should we play? Um, I'm trying to think. Fucking Obsidian. Uh, under the the pot the pale yeah. under the pale of an obsidian sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's up. I'll go with that because I have not listened to this at all. Unfortunately, I I knew it, I only got I got a notification a couple hours ago. <laughs> It's 
kind of like a obviously it's like a kind of droney instrumental. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really bleak sound and it is bleak sound okay. and droney instrumental album. Yeah, your EP or is it an EP or album? E- it's an EP. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> And we've covered them before. This this only dropped today, did it? Or he said it's, he said it's finally up. But that does that mean it was up anywhere before? It, um, it's on every streaming platform to the, from today, basically. But, oh, um, so this is the I second, heard this that is the second release. No, I heard he sent me that track about a week ago. He did on Instagram, and um, that, the whole release is really fucking good. It is. Yeah, I've, keep, I've got another one I keep going meaning to go back to because I know he's a member of yeah. Parcelon, yeah? Yeah, that's right. That's correct, yeah. I remember but that then, last year when Howard left him off the the solo creators list. <laughs> remember that? No, no. The no. Metal Cell end of year podcast, like when they said, what's your best end of year solo oh, project? Yeah. And Howard, and I, said, I, I can't think of any. And it was just like, and he was watching it. Oh, jeez, it was awful funny. It was just like, oh, yeah. great crack. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the skets, I'll be seeing them Thursday. Skellig and Partalon. Oh, you're going to that, you are? With, with Nadja, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with Fuckus. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that, because that's sounding cool. Yeah, it is. It's really bleak, it is, though. You know? You you might, if you, if you do repeat listens, you might get fucking... Get into a bit of a fucking trance. Oh yeah, no harm. Like I, I had a lot. Of, I I fucking play. I was playing it, and I fucking let, I left it on for nearly two two hours. And left it off going over again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I definitely will check it out. That's a uh, what's his name? Barry Mur- Murray is then. Um. Yeah. All right. Well. Cur- that's what it says there anyway, so yeah, I assume he's well. put down his real name on his own release. <laughs> that was Skellig. Re- Resonance of our dolmen. Yeah. And it's up on Bandcamp and Spotify and all those places. If you like instrumental, droney, atmospheric stuff, it sounded yeah, very cool. And I will yeah. check it out. I just got yeah. the, the notification, as I say, appeared today. And when he said it was finally up, like, that confused me. I was thinking, "All oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah." It's finally up. I was just like, if "It's finally up." I was like, "What? What is the new release?" That's okay. It's, uh, the, the wording confused me. Yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> you zoomers with your fucking ironic fucking language that makes no sense. <laughs> right, normally yours might be able to understand then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only kidding. And we've reached the end of our roundup, and the mad stories have been very, very dry this week. Yeah, I noticed that, all right. It's all been a base around the whole Trump thing. Oh, man, that's we, been driving me mental at this stage now. We, we spoke about it last week, but one thing I will say. The sniper for the fucking Secret Service had the shooter in his sight for 43 seconds. And didn't take the shot. And apparently, I, I look. Apparently, the shooter has been relieved of his duties since. Apparently, apparently, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there, are people are calling for her to resign now. Yeah. But that's all apparently. But this, 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 the fucking sniper had him in his sights for forty three seconds. That's usually forty two and a half seconds longer than you live. At a, at a fucking event with a gun. But everyone is, everyone's on about it anyway. And I suppose the only, re- the maddest story of the week really was the whole big fucking internet drop yesterday. The whole fucking Microsoft, Microsoft. crash. Yeah, it was updating basically. The that, was you know updated. that man, that scares the shit out of me. Yeah, well. Planes go down. Hospitals go down. Every, uh, this is how reliant everyone is on computers now. Yeah. Like I've said before, like, if a solar flare hit, uh, which they, they hit all the time, and they're growing in magnitude, if a big one hit, it could potentially take out the internet for two months. 
Yeah. Like, what the fuck would happen if that if the internet went down for two months? If it went down for a day, look what it happened. And it didn't go down for a day. Just the whole Microsoft thing fucked up and shut down hospitals and all sorts. Like, you know that that that's a scary one. Another thing I point out about that is, you see, people with their tapping their cards. If 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 this escalates again, oh, they're gonna be hacked. Withdraw you your fucking cash. This wasn't a hack, though. This was just a fuck. No, up. I know, I know, I know. But I understand what you're saying. Basically, an update could fucking happen again, like, and if that's the case, take your cash out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, I don't understand this using phones for all this. Kind I know. Of, you're leaving always, yourself open, like. Well, I always try to use fucking cash, like when I fucking purchase stuff in person. Yeah, that's just, you know, things are getting very weird at the moment. Yeah, like, I, we're just, you know, it just goes to show if the, if the fucking internet web went down tomorrow, like everyone, like the whole thing is fucked. Like, fucked. Yeah. Exactly. Medical records are where are they? Yeah, exactly. But sure, we'll be back again. Goodbye, goodbye. That's all I've got time for today. And remember now, you're the tops. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff. We'll be back next week. Good luck.